Good morning, everybody. Live from a little bit of a windy, warm, beautiful sunrise here in Delray Beach, Florida. I have a special guest helping me out today, Leslie, who supplied me with the tripod. She's back in town and she's lending a big hand today. So it frees my hands up. Thank you, Brad. So Whitey is in the house. I don't know if you made it to Instagram, Whitey, but the show is ready to go. Whitey is in the house. Whitey, today I'm talking about denial. Denial. That's right. That little word that's maybe the biggest word in the dictionary next to if. Denial. Here we go. The new structure. The title, a quote, story, quote, and off we go on our day. Good morning, Shelly. Denial is the worst kind of lie because it is the lie you tell yourself. Now, you know I keep talking about different buses, so the career bus. You could be in a bad spot in your career, right, Shelly? And what are you going to do? You keep denying that you can't leave it, so you stay in it, and it gets worse and worse and worse. Stop denying where you're at in your career. Face it head on. Go talk to the man in the corner office or get out. Living your life in denial at a job and being miserable is not what we were put on this earth to do. Financial. Oh, financial denial. I can relate. You know, had that much, then it goes to that much, but you want to live like that much, so you get into this much. It's crazy. Stop denying where you're at, what you have. Make a budget, know what your income is, and live within those means. Don't live your life like you're going to hit a lottery ticket. That's being in denial. Health. This is the most serious one. As I'm getting older, yeah, I know, hard to believe I'm getting older, as we're all getting older, we get little health ailments. Little health ailments, though, if you don't take care of them, can turn into big health ailments, which could turn into a complete change of your life. Why are you in denial? Why, if a doctor says you got to lose X amount of pounds or don't eat salt or you shouldn't drink, whatever it is, stop if you want to live. I see too many people at a very young age in wheelchairs and things. Not you, Whitey. You got there by accident. But people end up in situations because they didn't take care of themselves. Don't deny what the doctor and your body are telling you. Take care of yourself. And then relationships. I could talk forever about that. You're in a relationship. Somebody denies something that's going wrong. You try and work on it. You need two people to work on it. If you don't work on it, it's over. Denial, denial, denial. Everybody's blaming somebody else. People need to change. You can't change people. People need to change. Denial is strong. Being defensive is one of the worst attributes a person can have. Now here, Leslie is here and she gave me a great line. Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Denial, turn around. Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. So when I think about the word defensive, you know, I took constructive criticism the other day and I started to raise my defenses and then I said, no, my buddy's in the industry. Look, my hands are free because of him. I could walk around. I could talk. It's me. I'm expressing who I am. Thank you for the constructive criticism. But defensiveness often reveals an area of our lives where we're in denial. Here's a good one. Your kids come home from school, they don't do great on an exam. Mommy, you don't understand. The teacher, nobody in the class did well. Johnny did... No. You know, they were on their phone the whole night. They were Snapchatting. They were not studying. You get what you put into it. We can relate to our children coming home with stories. Why do we have stories? Why can't we give up the stories? What you deny or ignore or delay. What you deny or ignore, you delay. What you accept and face, you conquer. So here's what I ask you. One little thing you've been denying. One little one. Write it down. Think about, I'm going to change something. Whether it's the salt on my food, 
or the way that I'm talking to my children or the money in the bank, whatever it is, pick one out, make it easy. Talk to an accountability partner or maybe your partner in life and work through it. You'll be better off for it. Denial ruins. Trust me, I know what it's all about when people live in denial. So have an awesome day. Let's thank Leslie for her amazing work today, Leslie. Thank you. And the sunrise behind me is incredible. And I just want to thank you for joining in on the How We Doing It. You know, it's going. It's happening. But I need more people. So what I ask you to do, please, if you haven't liked the How We Doing page, please just go there and like it. Little button. And then there's another button, share me. Just share me all over the place. Let's grow this community. You know, when I started in a thing, Leslie and I met through Jesse Itzler's group. Jesse had, you know, 50, 100, 200, he kept saying he wanted 10,000. Hey, Jackie, thanks so much for joining in. I really appreciate your feedback. Michael, so awesome seeing you. Kenny, where were you this morning when I walked out? I didn't see you. So people are coming, people are sharing, it's happening. I am making it shorter. You don't have to stay on for this part. You heard the message. This is all about an advertisement. How we doing it? Let's promote it. And Amber, if you're watching, thank you for all you're doing. You're amazing. Have a great day, everybody.